And um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this, uh, it was an amazing cast and all that. You see, they have been an amazing cast and they were so helpful, they were so supportive. Now, you see, it's a faith-based film. And um, and uh, for the first time, you, you see a film that was told without <laughs> 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 So there was no demon, there was no Satan. Uh, what we tried to do is preach the gospel and all that, which was the most important thing and all that. And uh, they all contributed their part to it and all that. So please, a big round of applause. Uh, I'd like to say a big thanks to the pastors present here. Uh, yes. um, I want to say thank you to every single person who made this a reality. I want to say thank you to the director. Something about him, he would. You probably will be angry that I'm blowing this trumpet, but there were so many moments. I remember in the scene that we shot in church, I said to him, I said to him, director, there are a few choices that I want to make here. Am I allowed to? And one thing I really like is that he lets you, he doesn't just bring his creative decisions to it. He understands that you two like to create and he lets me create. He lets me become. And he did that with a lot of us here today. And it's a dream come true for me because I am the self-proclaimed Jesus boy. It's a, stay here today and tell this sort of story. So thank you to King's View as well. I was a pleasure working with you, so we were with team, I was with King's View to for the first time, I've never been there. So yeah, <laughs> that was fun. I had fun on this project, it was, it was tough, yeah, but it was worth it. Um, I like King. I like to thank everyone for <laughs> this great uh, movie. I also want to thank the cast and the crew. I also want to <laughs> We had a lot of back and forth, a lot of heat. Jeez, at the end of the day, the movie came out well. Thank you so much for your patience. <laughs> thank you so much. I'd like to say a big thank you for uh, from the esteemed. Uh, CC member Pastor TTT, you saw him. Um, he was a original uh, storyteller. Uh, this project started uh, four years ago, just before COVID. Uh, January of the COVID year, that's when we started this project, and we couldn't finish it until uh, my able director, Pastor Iomia, uh, gave, gave us the opportunity to showcase this. It has been a long journey. Uh, sorry, I'm coming, I'm just from Port Harcourt. <laughs> so I had to catch a flight to go ahead. I had a production for that sort and all that. You know, we really travel to filmmakers and to documentary and storytellers and all. So um, it has been fun doing this project. And one thing I've learned when you are in this ministry and all that, I will call my ministry, uh, my, my pastor, my father, my mentor, Pastor Chris. Sorry, that's why it's great. Because this will be because I took glory. My first film. That I will premiere. I've done so many films, so you, they know. But my first one I will premiere at the same time. Wow. Yes. Wow. Thank you. So, uh, it's, it's a testimony for me, personally. That's why I told uh, the director that no matter what, my flight is meant to be for tomorrow. 
I told them if they need to change it to today, I must be in Lagos today and all that. And, uh, and just to witness this. So thank you for coming. And um, now you can only see this film exclusively on Kingsview. You understand? So download the app and all that. It's coming out on the 9th of August and also exclusively on uh, Kingsview. And please, we are calling on brands, we are calling on companies. It's a faith based film and all that to sponsor us. Partner with us in this and in spreading the gospel because that's the whole essence of this. It's not just to tell a story, but we told a story that you can all testify that it touches every life. You understand the various characters and all that. Like Power here, DJ Easy, uh, you can see his journey. I could never go to church. He ended up where? <laughs> 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 uh -huh. And you can, you can, you can imagine uh, Kule, you understand? He always felt okay. He was the uh, alpha, he was the uh, most. Skilled scammer in the world. At the end of the day, look at how he found Christ. Somebody preached to him from the grave. You understand? <laughs> so it's just a funny way to tell the story and all that. And you see, love from the Lord. You understand? Said the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. No matter how you look at it, you understand? God loves every one of us, and it will reach reach us in any way, any form, uh -huh, as far as His name is glorified. So we want you to support us with this film. We want to push it everywhere. We want to make noise with it and want to tell people that Jesus Christ, Jesus is coming soon. And all that, and I know, even as, as we entertain you, we want to preach the gospel. You understand? He said this gospel must be preached to the ends of the earth. It must be preached by you and I. So support us in this, right? Support us in pushing this film everywhere. Night of August. Yeah, there's a sign on form. You understand? Uh, going on around, please partner with us in this, in pushing the gospel. Making this film a reality to every, you can actually screen it in your churches, screen it at school, screen it everywhere. You even your, um, there's this thing we I normally do. Um, uh, I have some clients who who call their top customers, and if they get a film and they preview it, you can actually do it as a CSRO thing uh, to schools and all that. I know that we welcome that opportunity too. Thank you very much, and. Um, uh, I'll say welcome again, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Yeah. Okay, then, yes, please, please let us patronize this place. You can see it's our own. Uh, it's a Pinnacle Mall and Asthma Cinema. It's now, it's a Cinema. Exa, exa cinema. Uh -huh. Please patronize us. We have so many. They are, you can actually get, um, what can I say? There are vacancies and all that. Uh -huh. Room, uh, places to let here too. And, all, and you can actually preview your films and your documentaries, even organize your seminars here, your workshop here and all that. We are open to it. Yeah. I'd like to say a big thank you to my crew. To my crew. To my crew. To my crew. So women are doing shall be more some shall be wonderful. Then yes, a big thank you to Pastor Amechi. He was wonderful in Port Harcourt. That thing you saw of the boardroom is not Lagos. We shot that in Port Harcourt. So but we submitted it in uh, Lagos and all that. That spring was not real. I'm just telling you some little facts about them. I don't know we have to create it, but he was wonderful. He supported the Reverend Ray, Reverend Ray, and the Lord World Singers, uh, Evangelism, Tati. Yeah, you understand, she was awesome. They, they supported us all the way and all that. You can hear, we are celebrating our own year. So please, there's a meet and greet where you can meet the actors and take pictures with them. And Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Had your talent this season. Uh, long nights, early morning, traveling, and all that came back. It's stressful. My father was so good. Yeah, that's what happened. 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 Yeah, that
I have like a real one. I have stuff coming up. Just you're on my you're on my Instagram. So I'm just coming up. I had an amazing time shooting the wages. I acted with people like Rayadeka, Izzy, Meche, and Osasu. And oh, they were so professional. I got to with friends. I hadn't met Meche before, and now Meche is my girl. Meche, you're calling me. You're calling me. We'll talk later. You know, Ray is my guy, my brother. And it was, it was, an, it was an amazing set. I, I, I can tell you that I felt the spirit of God even being on that set. You know, the director is a phenomenal man. Who to this very day, we have kept in touch. Uh, challenges shooting this were very, very minimal. You know, I like, I like to sleep, so maybe they take some of my sleep. That's the only challenge. But other than that, I had such a great time. So yes. Yes, I had been lots of work. As a matter of fact, I had three movies that came out this weekend. Um, a Wife and More, Hearts Over Time, and Hearts of Man. Three movies on YouTube, you can watch that. I have a movie coming to, the series will be coming to Netflix with my premiere dating back called Kill a Monkey. Please definitely watch that. And it was the other thing that I have out there. I'm not going to This film is a fantastic film, and uh, I love the reason really because it's a faith based film. So it's not really going to cross films like this. Uh, I want to that is what I know. This film is a big based film. And it's a lot of true life still. Okay, so I play the character called Bao. Bao is very, uh, I don't know, he's a very funny guy with, with his own belief, a very stubborn guy. So uh, I'm all for uh, playing a movie like this. It's, 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 it's a somewhat challenging because you see some certain things that you probably won't do on a regular day. Based on the way the story is, you have to make sure you depict it, put it down. Like um, there was a scene where the guy is so told about an alley where one man, one man that had this was laying curses on them. You see, for me, that was very touching and scary at the same time. So I told myself, like, I have to do I need to go back to the talks myself. All these things, but he used so many strong words. And uh, you, you, you know, like about watching this film, uh, you know that it's not about the so basically, the way this is a fantastic film that would uh, draw you to that people and show you more insight about how God took his life. It's a fantastic film, I hope you will make kind of bad. The strength of the film is very hard for the things you have, and it's really out. You know why?